have seen it is no longer banditry. Actually, it is terrorism. So we want to ask the president to really come forward and fight th this thing once and, and for all. Because as Baringo residents, as teachers of Baringo, we are tired, we are tired of crying. We no longer want to cry about our people being killed every day, mercilessly. It's like we, have, we no longer have rights to live. We've lost the fathers, yes. we've lost the mothers, yes. we've lost the children, yes. we've lost the teachers, yes. and we've lost the quite a number of people. They should be compensated. Yes. This is our plea to the government of Kenya. If this government is serious, there should be some, every human being who is carrying a weapon, who is carrying a gun, they should be disarmed because there is no disarmament in Baringo. There are many development projects that the government is running, including the housing program. In Baringo, we do not want any other public participation other than a discussion about peace in Baringo. Yes. Yes. There is no development that will happen in Baringo. There is no road that we can use because we are short. There is no house we can live even if you build them. The first initiative that the government of His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, whom we voted to the man,